when we take a picture with the real camera, you know, the shutter opens, it exposes some film or your digital sensor, and then a few fractions of a second later, the shutter closes. Now, when we do that in CG, so, so for example, you want to make an animated object for a computer graphics movie, then that doesn't happen. We can capture the whole scene in an instant, so we actually have to go back and explicitly tell it to blur the image to match so that it looks like a real picture. However, what we found was that if you model not just the fact that the shutter opens and closes, but how it opens and closes over a period of time, it actually has a dramatic effect on the image. If we model a shutter that takes time to open and then takes time to close, we get an image which is visually better. And actually, if you run through some of the, sort of the theory behind it, it turns out that this is not only visually better, but mathematically better. This technique is actually very easy to implement. Um, once you get the basic idea, it's four or five lines of changes of code within an existing system. And within 12 months, software companies were actually implementing this in software. You know, probably around two thirds of the animation that's done for special effects in movies is now using software, which has this capability.